Andrew, aka Quasi from Quasi's Bell Tower. And I'm your brother Brian, and this is Point Rock Review. Sam Adams. Crisp and dark with hints of cocoa. Hints of cocoa. Cocoa. But the alcohol has dropped now to 4.9. What's wrong with you, Boston? I mean, Sam Adams. Let's pour this, uh, open the bottles. Open the bottles. I can see where they're going, but that's not, that's not cocoa. Oh my god, you can't deny well, this. I've been taught just to kill and fight this. Look how black that it, is. It's a dark beer. I just hope it doesn't have a licorice smell. Wow. Um, that's definitely a dark beer. Uh, wow. Yeah. It's almost like a Guinness. Almost. It looks almost like a Guinness. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Let's just, I just, let's just drink this. I'm not looking forward to this. I mean, I've had dark beers, but this one, sorry. No this problem. one smells uh, kind of funny. It smells funny. Yeah, it's a dark beer. Oh. Not bad. It's a dark beer. I get the cocoa. Really? <laughs> I, I, the I cocoa. don't, I don't. I don't get, here's the thing, I don't get chocolate, I get cocoa. Like, I just put, took a teaspoon of baking cocoa and put it in my mouth without any sugar or sweetening of any kind. I get the cocoa. Maybe, um, I don't get that, it just tastes like a dark beer. I don't really taste the cocoa, I mean, I could be wrong, it's been a while since I've had dry cocoa. Right. This is a very dark beer, and this beer is probably going to put me in strange places as we record. Definitely. Because I do not do good with dark beer. I can admit to that. Oh my God. To me, the cocoa oh. has definitely presented itself. It's not chocolate. If you're expecting chocolate, you're gonna be very disappointed. But the, the cocoa is there. It's not, you know what the funny thing is? For being a dark beer, it's not that heavy. Mm -hmm. All the other Sam Adams seem so much heavier. That or we're just getting used to the alcohol, but it's not really that heavy. Could just be me though. Mm. Who knows? No, I don't feel it being all that heavy either. I can say this would not be a beer I would drink right. um, on a regular basis. Uh, my thing with this is it's one of those beers you know if you're going to drink it, you're going to get messed up. I think. Yes. Oh yes, I could easily get messed up on this. Yeah, like a couple of these and I'd be like, oh okay, yeah, I'm going, I'm just gonna call it a night. Um, I would be sick the next morning because of how much I drink of that though. Mm. So our next beer is Post Road Pumpkin Ale. Yep, brought to you by the Brooklyn brand, the same one that brought you Brooklyn Lager. If you remember, they had like a green thing on their logo. Yes, they, it was it was the same thing. It was just green and didn't have a pumpkin. In now it. it's a pumpkin. Put a close up of that in there, Ryan. That's a pumpkin. Yeah, well, being a pumpkin ale, I imagine they would. Yeah, but. well, true. So uh, let's uh, open up this post road pumpkin ale and uh, post road pumpkin let's ale. Try to get my mind off that beer. Uh, Brooklyn, Brooklyn, Brooklyn. I want to make a Brooklyn Dodgers joke, but they're LA Dodgers, and sorry, LA. I smell. I was rooting for you. Oh, we're talking about the World Series. Sorry. Who won that, by the way? Because I totally did not find out. Freaking Houston. Good. Yes, Houston. Go Houston. Oh, that's definitely got a nice uh, golden 
orangish that's color like a, to it. That's a goldenrod. Giggity. <laughs> oh, that smell though. I don't like that smell. I mean, I smell a little bit of pumpkin there. I can smell the pumpkin. But I smell a little bit of hoppiness there, too. Well, there's only one way to find out, Brian. Let's do it. <sighs> it does have the pumpkin spice to it. Um, wow. It, uh... It's kind of mild, but it's got another taste, and I can't quite. I, I I'm I I don't even want to say what I think it tastes like right now. I kind of want to take another sip of this and see what it tastes. Take another like. sip of it. It tastes like it's kind of watered down for a uh, uh, pumpkin spice. Right. And the funny thing is, for some reason, it tastes like fucking dish soap. Yes. Do you get that dish soap taste? Oh it's, my god! It's that that uh, that that IPA kind of. Uh, it's like it's a watered down IPA. This kind this, of tastes foul. This no, nah, to me, this tastes foul to me because now you mentioned foulness and dish soap and dish soap. Like used dish soap or even any kind of dish soap tastes nasty. You brought up the dish soap. Well, that's kind of what it tastes like to me. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's got a spice taste to it, but it tastes, it tastes, I don't know, soapy, mild. It tastes, it tastes like it's not good, Great. like it's bad. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what it reminds me. It, it tastes like it's a bad beer, like it's gone, uh, not stale, but. It's got, got, it's got that nasty, like, mildew, soapy, I don't know, it's hard to explain, man. So, here is our review on the Black Lager. Um, well, I can say, really, honestly, S Sam Adams always tastes uh, very heavy, very dark. Um... This is a this is basically a darker version of their beer. Um, if I was gonna drink a dark beer and this was available and I would that's all I wanted to drink all night, I would drink that. It didn't have any nasty taste to it like licorice or something like that. Um, it just tastes like a uh, a very darker version of Boston Lager. That's the only way I can explain it. So I would give that a. I don't know. I, I guess I could give it a three. It's it's I don't know. It's not that bad for for a dark beer. It's not that bad. I think uh, Sam Adams, you've you've been missing with me. You really have. You've been missing with me. I've been going three point five on almost anything I tasted of yours. Um. As for this one, I'm going to jump. One octave. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a four. Wow, really? I'm gonna you're, give this you're a gonna give four. That, really? Wow. Because I did get the hints of cocoa. Um, I really liked the taste I was getting. Would I be able to go ahead and buy? Would I buy this in a six pack again? No. I'm not. I, would, no, I don't no, think no, I would no, buy, no, buy this no, in a six pack. I wouldn't see that in a six pack and go, Yeah, I gotta have that. However, no. if I was at like a a, a bar. And they said, and I happen to see black lager on tap. I would get myself a glass. I'd be curious. So for that, I'm gonna give it a four. Ooh, no, I'm gonna give it a four. So uh, next is the Post Road Pumpkin Ale, and this brew is actually we know this uh, is in Utica, right? Mm-hmm. Utica, New York. New York, yeah. So it's here in New York, here, and. Uh, I am not very impressed with this beer. It, it does have the pumpkin spice in it, but for some reason it gives a really bad aftertaste. And that, that it's like stuck in the top of my gums, you know? Mm. And it's almost got like, 
a pasty glue uh, resin to it. Okay. To, to me, it, it does. It, it just, it, it, I don't know. It tastes like dish soap, man. I don't know, I don't, I'm sorry. It, it tastes like dish soap. In a way, it has that weird taste. I, I, I don't even like this beer. Um, so you know what, honestly, this is gonna be my first fat zero. Wow. My first fat zero. Wow. That, I did not like that for a pumpkin beer. Well, Brooklyn, um, Brooklyn brand, Brooklyn, your, your Brooklyn lager, um, I don't remember if I liked it. I, I don't think I did. Um, because if I did, I, I, I probably was, would, I'm, I'm still probably not impressed by it. <laughs> but uh, this one, this is not good. Um, pumpkin is definitely in there, but to me it tastes too much like a weak uh, IPA. And um, I don't, I don't remember if I liked the last one. I'll put it here, right here, right. Okay. Um, what my rating was, but uh, this one, I'm not thrilled. I'm not thrilled. I'm gonna go 2.5. Wow, wow. 2.5. I thought it was the worst pumpkin ale or pumpkin beer I've ever had. Um. Yes, I will go along with that. It is, it is the worst pumpkin beer I've ever had. So that's two beers, two reviews, two more reasons to click that like button. Till next time. Bye. Maybe it tastes like it's blue. I don't know. Who knows? Sorry, man. Blue, 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 blue. Okay. I don't know what glue tastes like. So you never tried glue before when you were no. a kid? No. Uh, you should try. You should. Not on purpose. It's not like I went. Dude. The farthest I would go. But with, the but farthest like, I would go. I tried paste once. Okay. What paste tastes like? Glue tastes like. Oh really? It's got like that kind it, of minty. No, glue is not minty. Where the hell you get paste? minty? The, the piss. The, the piss. <laughs> the piss <laughs> that I tasted had like a, a bit of a, a minty taste taste to it. The paste. The paste. Are you sure it was the paste? It was paste. Okay. It was paste. Mm -hmm. I knew a kid that would sit there and he would hide his paste from the teacher, go off, go into the coat room, and just start eating the paste. <laughs> I never did anything like that, but you know, it's like, yeah, man, Brian, try some taste. And of course, I didn't know anything about drug pictures, you know, yeah. at the time. <laughs> I dare you to try this. I'll try a chunk, you know, yeah. I'm not that big of that, that much. <laughs> it's like, all right, that tastes kind of minty. No, what you're doing is so weird. <laughs> I don't care what you say, Ryan. This tastes like fucking dish soap.